Hello guys! I want to make a quick video here. I um I was to make this video earlier and I realized that I hadn't uploaded any of the videos that I had done on my iPhone a couple of days ago. Uh, which are the two videos prior to this video that I just posted. Um, so I waited a little while to do this video. I'm actually fixing to go to bed because I have work in the morning. <laughs> but, um... As I said in the other videos, I don't have um, cell phone service on my iPhone at work, and I don't like that. So, um, what I did is I went and got a uh, prepaid Verizon phone uh, to try it out, see where it goes. Um, I mean, you know, it's a little Samsung basic phone. I had like $5 on it. I bought uh, unlimited texting. Can't see it. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, I bought unlimited texting, and I uh, only had $5 left on the account worth a try um, something uh, something to, to test out and see and make sure I got service at work um, so initial thoughts I know I know um, I don't do any kind of reviews anymore and I kind of need to, to get back to that initial thoughts on the phone are um, well it doesn't have 1x EV it just has 1x and I'm hoping that it will focus well you can still kind of see it um, so there's no high-speed data not like I actually have a data plan but there's no high-speed data um, so that's cool whatever uh, just a basic phone uh, I was talking to Andy just now um, from the Wolfpack on Google Plus they have the new video chat which is pretty awesome actually um, we we're just talking on video and he said that he believes next week Verizon's unlimited data plans come to an end that's not cool <laughs> Um, because I'm not going to be able to switch within a week. It's going to take me more than a week to get, um, you know, switched over to Verizon and everything. Uh, I was actually planning on uh, three weeks, maybe four, to a month. I mean, you know, to a, three weeks to a month. Um, just because, you know, I got all this deposit and everything I got to pay through Verizon. And uh, that's not cool. I really don't like that. But uh, whatever. I'm still working with AT&T to try and get my uh, stuff moved around so that I can port my current phone number over. However, on this phone, ironically enough, today when I activated it, um, it just randomly generated me a number. And that number is similar to the last four digits of a previous phone number I had before the iPhone. Uh, it, was a, it was my other AT&T uh, Razor, if anybody remembers that one. Um, it's very, very similar to that number. It has the same digits, they're just in a different order. Uh, and really, only two numbers are swapped. Everything else is exactly the same. Um, so that's that's great. I mean, it it's, it's right, plays right along with my old one. If anybody actually remembered my old one, then um, it, you know, it'd be pretty much the same. So I don't know if I want to keep that number or keep my old number. As I was saying earlier, my number kind of got out. I'm getting telemarketers and that's not cool, so... That kind of makes me want to go away from my old number, but um, but I do have AT&T working with me, and uh, they're willing to try and make it where I can port that number and not have an early termination fee. So that's great. Um, glad that I have their support, even though they know I'm leaving to Verizon. <laughs> uh, I am keeping my AT&T account though, uh, as well as my other Samsung phone over here that I use for tethering. Um, so, so that'll still be, I'll still, they'll still be getting my money, basically. <laughs> I'm just going to have um, a Verizon iPhone. But this could be a deal breaker, uh, back to what I was talking about, could be a deal breaker if Verizon is ending their unlimited data plans. Because I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a heavy data user and I don't see myself being on limited data. It's not something I'm interested in getting in. Uh, so if I can't get unlimited, I probably that that might be a deal breaker. Um, but uh, one thing that I did like about Verizon is that my area is in the areas of planned 4G LTE by the end of this year, which um, is awesome. I don't think the iPhone 4. I mean, I, I know the iPhone 4 can't do it, but I don't know about the iPhone 5. I kind of hope it can, but um. If not, well, then that's also another reason why I really wouldn't do it. Seems pointless. So, anyways, that's um, that's that. First impression of the Samsung. It is a Samsung. It is a Samsung. <laughs> it's just a basic flip phone. Uh, flips open. You can talk on it. You can text. I'm gonna be using it for texting. 
Um, cool, whatever. But um, it's just basic. I will try it out at work and let you guys know, um, you know, maybe coverage wise how that goes. I don't know. Really hard to review a phone because it's not about the phone, it's about the company and then several other factors. So it's really, you know, it's, it's not based on one thing. And um, I had planned on a comparison of uh, the Verizon phone, AT Verizon iPhone and the AT&T iPhone. Um, that will be a nice video coming up if I get the unlimited data because like I said that could possibly be a deal breaker for me switching completely to Verizon if I don't have the unlimited data option um, I mean you know it's hard to walk away from AT&T being I do have unlimited data and walking away from that would be an indefinite thing you would never ever get it back um, but with with that in mind that I could get it at Verizon that's why I would do it and if that's not going to happen at Verizon, then I don't know. I'm not so sure I want to. Uh, maybe I will just for the fact that, uh, you know, maybe one of their plans are going to be cheaper. I don't know. I don't know what their plans are looking like yet. But, um, I, you know, on average, I use less than two gigs a month on my iPhone. But the fact that I am capped is why I don't like it. I would much rather know that I have it to spend rather than, wind up spending it and being way over so anyways that's just a small update video for you guys to let you know I did get the Verizon prepaid phone just to uh, text with for now give it a shot see where it goes uh, and I'll let you guys know about the unlimited data thing because that could that could really pause this entire switch to Verizon if that happens so I want to make sure that that doesn't happen. <laughs> All right. Well, I will see you guys later.